Welcome back, friends. Start your engines because we're heading back to the track with NASCAR to gear up for their NASCAR Cup Series 400 weekend at Homestead Miami Speedway. We've been there all month long, and I have to tell you, my need for speed is insatiable. It's insatiable. Watch. Hey, so Flo, Jason Carter here at the Homestead Miami Speedway for the NASCAR racing experience, bringing you the thrill of NASCAR. And word on the street is I'm going to get in the car and get on the track myself to risk it all for you guys, for the pleasure of all of our NASCAR fans. Behind us, there's the car, the racers, the track, all the things. So let's go, let's have some NASCAR fun. We're here with Homestead Miami Speedway President, Mr. Al Garcia, good to have you here. Jason, thank you. Thanks for being uh, with us here today. I was talking to Nick Sanchez, who said that, and I agree with him, this is an exciting time for NASCAR. It's an exciting time for NASCAR here in South Florida, why? Well, NASCAR is uh, NASCAR's inclusive, we're diverse, and we're innovative. So, you know, we recognize that uh, the, the regional sport of the 70s can get to the big leagues. And they're using South Florida, Miami as a platform to really advance the sport and expose it to a whole bunch of other people that, uh, that uh, were really unaware, not really dialed into the NASCAR culture. Culture is alive and well here in South Florida. You have been with the organization since its inception, going on 40 years, man. Congratulations, <laughs> newly appointed president in 2019. What has that journey been like for you? You know, it's, it's, uh, it's um, a lifetime of work. You know, we opened in uh, November of 95, and Hurricane Andrew devastated this area, South Dade, in 92. And so we built a speedway as, uh, as an effort to create economic opportunity and help South Dade rebuild. And so, you know what? To bring NASCAR to Miami-Dade County, to South Florida, is not terrible. And it leans on your commitment and passion for the community, Al. What is it about NASCAR that you love? Because you have to be a fan of the sport to stick around for as long as you have. Well, you know, the first thing is that it's, um, it's, it's, it's the opportunity, right? You never know, right? In sports, why do they play the game? You <laughs> never know, right? I mean, I, I don't think that, uh, that uh, Bethune-Cookman had much of a chance against the University of Miami, but here there's 40 drivers that strap in. Any one of them could win the race. And, you know, every one of our events throughout the country, whenever it shows up, um, it's like a mini Super Bowl, right? And instead of two teams whittling it down, there's 40. All the teams play every single weekend at the same stadium. So it's, it's a very, very unique, um, it's thrilling and exciting. And you know, the element of danger also attracts a lot of people to see what's gonna happen. I think that's the big attraction is the element of danger because you never know what's gonna happen as you said. So have you been able to get on the track in a car by yourself? Yes. What was that like? It was exhilarating. Why? He's like, what do you, what do you think? What do you think? But no, how many times have you driven the car by yourself? No, I've had probably more laps around this track than any driver in the circuit. <laughs> then why are you not racing, Al? Uh, look at, look at me. I, I, I said I you gave myself to hosting. No, like no. You just talked about inclusivity. There, you could be out there, man. What do you, come on, don't take yourself out of the, out of the race. No, no, no. Back in the day, I competed. Now I've dedicated myself to hosting and taking care of the 60,000 friends that are going to be here for race weekend. to have the championships come back here to Homestead. Thank you for that dedication to our community and to NASCAR. And here's to 40 more years of that danger and that thrill and that, as I told Nick, that need for speed. Attaboy, you got it, Jason. Thank you, man. Thank you, my man.